Hello everyone, my name is Sheen and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another zoo showcase. Um, this time we are at the Swiss Alpine Zoo by Neffect. I hope I pronounced that one right. <laughs> so um, yeah, the description of the zoo says that there are a few blueprints in here, but they are incorporated into the zoo, so um, I have no hope in telling you what is a blueprint, I don't know. I never do things from the workshop, like I would download them and then never use them, so... <laughs> but yeah, just to be clear, some things are here from blueprints and some things are not. Um, and actually the reason why we are not standing in front of the entrance is this big parking lot. Like, honestly, that even if it is a blueprint, this must have been so much work to put together and like, wow, I'm, I'm just, wow, that's so much work to do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and my game is also a little bit fizzy, like the FPS is not that great, but I think now we can go finally into the zoo. Let's try to do it unpaused. And yeah. Oh no, I think it's not working. Ah! Is the game just gone bad? I don't know. I think it is. Okay. Oh no, there we are again. Okay, um, I'm doing it in pause mode then. <laughs> oh god. That's so horrible. Why is it doing that? It never did that before. But okay. It's, I think now we... Now we work. Okay, okay. We're just keeping it in pause. If I don't see an animal, I apologize. But if it's not moving and if it's somewhere in some bush, maybe I won't see it. So I'm sorry for that. But yeah, um, I actually don't know if this is expensive or not. But yeah, we are just going to pay and walk into the zoo. So... What do we have? We have the exit. Great. <laughs> okay, uh, I already know that we can... Um, um, we can... We can go from the past, but like, why are there different colors? Um, I'm just going to go with the red ones first, because like the orange ones seem to start here. So yeah, let's move. Nope. There it's not. Okay, let's go here. Oh, I like how this roof is constructed. I like that. Okay, and here we have the giraffes. And I actually don't know. Like, I think they, these are Thompson cells. Are these ones too? No, they don't have the stripe. Or do they? They do. So, Thompson cells, gazelles. And giraffes. I love how close the feeder is to the guests. I think for me it would personally be a bit too close, maybe. But like, yeah, it's 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 all right. I think it's all right. Uh, I hate that I can't unpause the game, but like, I think I can do it. Or I would have like to manually delete stuff and like. That's not the purpose of a zoo showcase, like, if I delete something, like, I could delete the parking lot, like, okay, I could, but, like, nah, I, I think it's fine. I like that we can watch them from two different heights. Like, here we were, like, with their, like, on, on eye level with them, and now we are above. And, like, did you ever, like, stood next to a giraffe. I was at the... Um, oh, which zoo was it? Like some zoos, <laughs> some zoo in the Netherlands. And we could stand right next to the giraffes when they were in their stable. And that was the first time the ground level for me and the giraffe were the same height. And it was so ridiculous how big they really are. Like if you are standing over them, it, they don't look so like not at all like that's 
so crazy like something like that it was something like that and it was so crazy to see how big they are for real like really mind-blowing <laughs> I like that that's also something I never do because like realism was that I don't need that <laughs> Okay, and on the other hand, we have a few flamingos. Um, I'm not quite sure, like, I like this fence, but I'm not quite sure if this is enough for, I don't know how many flamingos you have, like, at least six, I can see six. Is this enough? And wouldn't they need water inside? But other than that, I like it. I like also the design, like that it's the same floor, but like also kind of not. I also like that. And I like that we have these little stone pebble things and then the trees in them. I like that too. <laughs> so let's get out of here and then go here. And now we are starting to follow the orange paw. Where is it? Orange paw. Wait, why is it red? Do we need to... Yeah, okay, orange paw. It's more yellow. But anyway, I will call it orange paw now. Okay, now we are going to the jaguar jungle. <laughs> and now it's green. Okay, we are going to the green ones, the green paws. I love these uh, path alignment. I like that. Ooh, and this also looks nice. Okay, so... Oh, I thought this would be the jaguar, but no, it's peacocks. Um, practically the same. <laughs> Ooh, I also like that. What is that? Tell me. Planks? Planks? Oh my god, that's all of these are plan planks. That's crazy. And I like this building here. But to be honest, isn't isn't this a bit like overprotective for peacocks? Like, I mean, I thought it would be the jaguar habitat, so I don't know. Like, normally peacocks are found everywhere in the zoo, and here we have like double fencing, and then like the whatever is this called? What's that called? Oh, there's also water in there, so we have so many protective layers for peacocks. <laughs> But okay, maybe maybe they are murderous peacocks. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe that's that. Maybe there's a reason why it is so. So. What's that? What's the word I'm searching for? It's it's so. Safe, for us and for them, so that they can't get out. Oh, I think I wanted to steal that. Like just a little nuke for a little flowers no flowers plants and, and tree that's nice i will steal that idea thanks for that <laughs> okay and now do we have some okay we have something here the tapirs there's a white tapir and the capybaras i think that's a capybara and that's two so two capy three capybaras and like at least three tapirs Pipshot Jungle Pavilion. Pavilion? Pavilion? Is it called Pavilion? I don't know. But that also looks nice. I like that. I think I like this whole building. Let's go inside. Ooh, okay, that's that's a totally different vibe than I didn't anticipate here. Like it's it's way more okay now that that I have selected this is driving me nuts, so uh yeah. So as I was saying the outside looked far more serious and here inside it looks very very unserious so really playful it's totally different not in a bad way but just in a not not expected way and here we have the capuchin monkeys do they have an outdoor area or is that it I'm gonna hop in. <laughs> um, okay, no, I should. Oh, I thought my game would crash again. 
like it already crashed once but like now i see it goes here so uh, i will just go outside again and just take the normal path <laughs> I also like that all the ter ter terrariums I like built in with these planks, like with these wooden beams. Seems really realistic, although I don't think it would be realistic since wood and like high humidity that is probably inside of here is not like the greatest combination, <laughs> but it, it kind of looks good, so... It's a game. Who cares? <laughs> okay, so that is the outdoor for the capuchin monkeys. That's also looking really, really nice. With all of these climbing structures and all of the... Are these ropes? Oh, these aren't even ropes. Okay. Okay. It looked like ropes, but like... I think that makes it even nicer because it still looks like ropes but it's not does it make sense I don't think so <laughs> just move on <laughs> let's just go out of here <laughs> and hope we see pause okay there oh no there okay here do I need to go on that side I think so. Oh, and we can see from here too. Like, you know, here it actually does make sense. Because just a little water maybe isn't enough. And then these like little pillars to keep them from going there. Like, that makes sense. And it's not like overprotective or, like for the pe peacocks. Okay, then we have here some birds. And here we have the jaguar. Jaguar? Jaguar? Panther. It's a panther. Like, did you know panthers are called like a black variant of like the big cats? So, in theory, black lion would also be a panther. But where is he? I can't see him anymore. Okay, so I, I have a little fear with this habitat because. Imagine you would really be standing here, or even more if you were inside, it's looking so so small from, like, the roof is not so high. I would have expected it to be higher, to be honest. Now it's giving me kind of claustrophobic vibes for the cats, even though I don't think they get claustrophobic in there. <laughs> so, but I love all these port beams, like... Realism is definitely there and it's also something I would not do like that Not in this amount that it would probably be in real life So and here we have again the tapirs and the capybaras I love these little stone walls and the little pebbles underneath here that's really smart like go from the biggest to the smallest rocks that's smart and then we have here I guess that's also the jaguar habitat I'm guessing let's go and find out um oh yeah yeah it is <laughs> I can go outside now <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's a lot of beams, like I said, but it's realistic and like I stand that because like I said, I never do that. I wish I could unpause the game. I want to see the animals roaming in there. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> okay, now we see Jaguar view again. Okay, okay, let's rush a bit. I want to see them. <gasps> Okay, an underwater view. Should I... Okay, you know what? I'm going to unpause the game and let's see if it's not breaking. 
is it? How many FPS do I have? Like, come on. Okay, 27. This should be enough. Come on, someone get in the water, please. <laughs> oh, no, not, not laying around. Yes, he hurt me. <laughs> no, come here. Come into the water. <laughs> Um, normally I, I now would make it go faster, but... Oh no, that's the wrong direction! Okay. I think today is not a good day for seeing Jaguars in the water. Let's get outside. But I love the fog. Like, I, I didn't see the fog before because I had it on pause, but... That's cool. Okay, so I think I will leave it unpaused. Um, let's see what happens if it's going to stay like this, then everything is fine. I love this. I love it. That's so cool. Like, oh my god. Okay, no. No, pause. <laughs> That's too much. FPS drop for me here. So, uh, as I was saying, I love it when they are like kind of natural, little lots with lots of plants on top. I love that. So now we are entering Australia and we have the orange paws again. Okay, now I think now they are really orange and before they actually were yellow, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> So we have the salt water crocodiles. And actually this looks like a real habitat for them. Um, I think I never saw them like in real life, but from what I've heard, like they can jump really high and even when they are in the water, so it would make perfect sense that you would have that big of a parameter to like have them not jump out <laughs> although i would say maybe this isn't even high enough but like i think it, it could suffice and then we have the land part as far away from the the the, the gas as possible that's i think that's quite realistic to be honest but where is the Keeper's door. I want to see that. So let's just get inside of here. Um, okay, no. Here. Okay, let's... No! I just want to see how it's looking inside. <laughs> inside of here. I know it, I'm not supposed to do that and it's ruining the immersion and stuff, but I want to know where the where the gate for the for the keepers is like come on it it must be somewhere here it it must be here but i don't see it am i too far off what the hell how did you do that no i'm not going to tear it apart it's going to be a mystery <laughs> Okay, so let's move on. Where are the paws on the ground? Paws on the ground, paws on the ground. There. And it's pointing me there. Here. Okay. Now we have another exhibit for birds. That's the name. <laughs> like... I think it looks really nice, but to be honest, neither in real life nor in this game I am really that excited if we get birds. Like, unpopular opinion here. <laughs> Ooh, Crocodile Creek. Oh, I think I remember that, like, but I, I remember it from Pinterest. I think I had this building as a Pinterest inspiration for Planet Zoo. <laughs> And when I tried to building it, uh, it looked awful, so I scrapped that. <laughs> okay, um, but what do we have here? 
birds. Okay. Birds, 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 birds. Wait, is this another saltwater crocodile habitat? Is it somehow connected to the one? No, it can't be connected to the other one. What could it? No. No, I don't think so. Are, am I allowed to go there? No. Oh, no, no, no. I should have gone here. Okay. So, let's get down here. I love this wall. I love it. So, this is a saltwater crocodile. So, you have two saltwater crocodile habitats. Like, are you... Breeding them? Is this the breeding zoo for saltwater crocodiles? <laughs> or why two habitats? Or am I dumb and this other one wasn't the... No! Get me, let me get... I hate this. Like every time you put two paths over each other it does that. That's annoying. I think they could fix this. Like, but this is a saltwater crocodile. Okay. And if I go out here, outside here and quickly check them here, also saltwater crocodile. Huh. Okay. So I'm assuming this zoo is breeding them because I, um, I found out that there are actually zoos that have multiple habitats for the same species because they are breeding them. Oh, what am I doing? And... Yeah, so I, I will just say this zoo is breeding them too. <laughs> Don't know if that's true, but now they do. That's also cute. Like, I love hanging plants. Like, I never do that, but I love it when other people do it. <laughs> okay, and here we have the dromedary. Is that right? Yes. The dromedary, the red-necked wallaby, the red kangaroo, and the emus. Did I miss anything? <laughs> so, what I don't think I have. So we are now in... Oh, of course we're in Australia. I read the sign that we're in Australia. But yeah, good good that I um, could tell you that from the animals that I see. Great. So let's go outside here and take a look from here. I like the fence. And I never sort of using like the metal fans with the wooden beams. It looks really nice. I think I'm going to steal that too. <laughs> so now we have to go to the right. But can I look to the left for first? Can I? Am I allowed? <laughs> like that's always the struggle when building a zoo and then trying to redirect people when they are walking through it that's really annoying and that's why i tend to now do the passing before I even build something and have a rough idea where something is going just so people can go on a main path and every other path they have is just shortcuts where they wouldn't see anything so it's more there for the immersion than actually for someone who's going to walk through the zoo. So anyway, we have here the meerkats and the porcupines. In a nice little habitat with a really nice building. Really nice. And I also love this fence. Like, your fence game is, is pretty strong, I think. <laughs> I might need to blueprint a few things here and there because I am sure I will forget it and then I won't ever build it. So... But if I blueprint it, at least I will have it in my game and can be like, okay, what do I have for fans and then we create them <laughs> instead of just going blank and having no idea what to build. And it's also double fans, like first we have this, this wind fencing, this that's a little bit lower and then we have the glass fencing. That's also a nice way to ensure that the guests are not really doing dumb stuff like putting the children on the glasses so they can see better and they are uh, falling in. So yeah, it's a, it's a great idea to ensure that they don't do that. So now we have a staircase to nowhere. <laughs> no, not nowhere. We can see the 
koalas. Why would I say... I For one second, I thought it was a panic. I was a little confused here. But yeah, we're still in Australia. I knew that, of course. <laughs> so here we have the koalas. And there is another one. And that's also looking nice. Like I said, I like the building itself. And it's going all the way up here. And can I stand on here? No, that's not the path. So... So this is the koala habitat. Also double fencing. Well, that's going deep. <laughs> I don't think that's required for koalas, but... Honestly, I don't know what's required for koalas, because every time I see them, they are only an indoor species with like these big glass panels that are in front of you. And that's like the only viewing area you get. Why does it say kangaroo? They are here, mate. <laughs> Me trying to speak in an Australian accent. I will never do that again. I don't even know if it, if it would, like, if it is anything like Australian people speak. So I don't know. <laughs> Except for the mates. I know they they often say, or at least I heard they often say mates, but I don't even know if that's true. So yeah, I just will never attempt an accent. <laughs> an accent again. What's that here? What's in here? It's I guess it's also for some bird. But I don't see a bird. Where's the bird? Is this like for some kind of eagle? No, no. What are you? Oh! Oops. Yeah, that's a bird, guys. That's a bird. It's a raccoon. <laughs> a bird, of course. <laughs> That was a little bit embarrassing, but to be honest, nowhere it's stated for what it is and like, you know, my game is a pause. How would I have known? <laughs> oh, they have a overpass. Can they use that? That would be so cool. But I guess they can. Or maybe they don't. Like, this doesn't look like it would be usable in Planet 2, but maybe it is. Raccoon, come here. I need to see your traversable area. That's interesting to me. So, no, it's not usable. It would have been so cool if it was, but yeah. What can you expect? I mean, this also looks too tiny for the hitbox of any creature. So, sad. But at least we know in real life they would be able to get here. So now, um, there is a paw. I lost it for a sec. <laughs> and now we are going to the right. Okay. And here we have, here we have the panic. I like the vines and I like the little, little, um, what's it called? I. Oh my god, it's, you know what it is, I just don't know the English word for it, so, you know, you can see what it is, so I will not try to get this word anymore, but I think it's kind of funny <laughs> that the, like the peacocks had these, like, two-way um, fencing, and now the phoenix just got this, and I'm pretty sh sure they could jump over it, like, in real life. In Planet Zoo, of course, these things, like the salt weeds or whatever it's called, salt ward, yeah, was close enough, <laughs> Is has a hitbox, so they are not able to escape, but like, in real life, the foxes would get over here and they would get out. I guarantee you that, so I think here the fencing is a bit off for real life, but for Planet Zoo, it looks nice. It's It has a nice viewing area for the guests, all while having like these semi-realistic things between them so that you can see them without glass or another barrier and it's looking like it's without a barrier even though it has one, so yeah. And that's, that's a lot that I have to say about that, so <laughs> just move on. To the left is nothing. Here is a nice little 
Vivarium. And then we have um, the Red Deer. Follow Deer. I don't know. The Fellow. 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 However, the Deer. <laughs> oh no, what am I doing now? Um, I don't want to build here, I just want to visit here. <laughs> okay, another exhibit for birds. It's really cute how they are hanging there. That's nice. It's cute. And on the other side, the why would I say reindeer? The deers. Just the deers. <laughs> no rain. I think this habitat is maybe my favorite from the ones that we've saw, seen so far because it's so lush it's looking like you just let the plants be like you you don't have a gardener go in there every like week and trim the plants or get them out of the ground if they are not what what you wanted it's just looking like nature took its course and i love that like, I'm a big fan of this habitat in general, so it's no surprise that this is my favorite habitat so far from here. <laughs> and here we have something that I should not see, um, I think. Um, I need a paw. Where's the next paw? <laughs> no! Okay, not here. Not here. So, I, I need to go here? Guys, I'm lost. Where are the orange paws? Do, do I even need to fall? Okay, here, here. Oh, I, I should have gone here. Okay, okay. And now we have another bird view. Where are you? My how exhibits? I mean. I don't even know what I can say anymore because there are so many of these birds exhibits and I'm like, it looks cool. The piece count would drive me crazy. <laughs> because like all the birds are just individual individual pieces. But it looks nice. It looks nice, but honestly not as nice as for me to, to incorporate them. So I will just gladly be on, only seeing them when I visit other zoos so yeah um where should i go next okay here is some monkey and a little vivarium i think that's self-made like that's not one of the exhibit boxes i think and we have the Japanese macaque. Oops. Uh, is this one? No. Okay, I don't see one. I don't even see where they can go anywhere else. Maybe here? I don't know. If we go... If you continue the way, I'm lost. Exit Australia. But I was in Australia. Where should I go now? Oh my god, please. Oh, okay, I should go back. Okay, okay. <laughs> ah. Oh, we have Asian elephants. Um, I think I should go here. So this is the habitat for... That's Prabash's monkey. Am I right? Yes. No. Yes. I'm confused. Yes. So we have two monkeys in this, but like, doesn't the perbushes monkey need water for swimming? I don't know, guys. But I also like this habitat. Like, not as much as the one for the deers, but like, I like this too because of the seeming. Like, it, it has this vibe, like, I am more in the mountain area and I think the Japanese macaques live more in the mountain area. I don't know what the perbushes monkeys are doing in there. <laughs> Since I always thought they were like a, a rainforest species and the Japanese macaques are not, so maybe that's something that can work in a zoo, but they would never meet each other in real life. I don't know. 
so that's interesting. But to be honest, I am at this moment, like I am at this stage where I'm just thinking there are some crazy zoo multi-species habitats in real life, like there was a zoo that, or is a zoo that has gorillas and meerkats in one habitat, so, or like, there's also one that has Asian elephants and the, um, peccaries, the colored peccaries in one? No, not the colored, the other one. Um, oh, what's it called in English? The... Like the red one, the, the red... I don't know. Like, not the colored peccary, but another one from these, like... I don't even know what they're called originally, so... Mm. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> but like, yeah, maybe... Um, to go back to the point, maybe... It works in a zoo, but it wouldn't work in real life, so... Like, real, real life, like, where they are free in nature and stuff. <laughs> so, this is the lion inside area. Seems a bit small, but it looks nice, like, they can climb a bit. They have a few rocks. And they have a scratching thing, pose. So, that's nice. And I also love these beams with the roofing. Oh, and all these elephants. That's also nice. So I can go outside here. I will do that. And this is a crocodile. Cro crocodile house. And we go here. Um here and then up here whoa okay um there are the giraffes <laughs> oh and we have another area for like hoof stalks and zebras and stuff okay that's interesting so and we have here again th that's also a combination i would have never thought of like a rhino and the red crown crane, but okay. If it works, it works, I guess. Oh, that looks nice. That's nice. Okay, okay, it's the Asian lion, not the normal lion that we have in games. So I, I see what you did there. Oh, I love the little temple pieces that are looking at a bit out of place here with the waterfall. That's nice. And also these wooden things as staircases, that's also a great idea. This looks quite realistic, to be honest. Like, this could be one to one, I think, a real life habitat for lions, like for Asian lions. That's really cool. Like, for me, like always, not enough plants, but for a real life zoo, that would be the amount of plants that they would have in this habitat. Like the knights would always walk over here and over there and at some point there wouldn't be plants anymore. Just in a few places where they won't go so often. So that's really cool. Very realistic. And then we go... Back to the Asian elephants. I love the pool area. And what's that? Is this doing so? Okay, that's also cool. That's a cool idea. So yeah, I, I, I love the pool area. I think the rest is a bit um, too barren for me, but I think this is also something of a case with like realism and it wouldn't be realistic that we have so many plants in here. Like if you see elephant habitats, it doesn't matter if it's for Asian or African elephants, it's always with little to no plants and just sand because let's be real, 
they are so heavy they would just trample over every plan and then they would be dead so <laughs> and we also have peacocks here so my question is is this a peacock that would be all around in the zoo or just with the elephants like could they go anywhere else or are they just locked inside of the elephant habitat so now we can see penguins oh i love penguins in this game i, I really do oh no no guys can someone please unbox you unbox yeah so you can just go everywhere in the habitat you want to it's a cute little habitat for them like it's it's not really so special but also again it's so realistic <laughs> so i've got nothing to say against it it's looking nice it's looking and also like as a tip even for or more for people who play franchise so you are required or it would be better if you would use the plant requirements for the animals if you want to even if they don't want to have so many plants but you want to make it a little bit more lush do the same thing that was done here make the habitat with as much plants as they prefer and then put plants away from the habitat but in the side of in the line of sight for the guest so it appears that there is more green even if it's not in the habitat itself so that's a little trick like you of course you you need to make sure that it's not inside the barrier for the guests uh, for the animals or else it's not a tip anymore it's just more plants in their habitat even though it's not in their habitat <laughs> but it could work so yeah just a little tip here and now i want to go up here just a few quick seconds oh and there is something else in here some hoof stock like i'm sorry guys i really don't know what with, with all of these hoof stocks i'm so bad with them <laughs> because mostly i'm so uninterested in them so sorry <laughs> and here we have another exhibit for birds really cute again with them hanging on there that's really cute and that's also something they do in real life quite often i honestly don't know why i don't know if it's a sign if they are bored or something i don't know but i think it's cute it's looking cute even though i don't know what it means like in bird bird language and here we have um Japanese macaques again no wait wait in the other habitat I I didn't even see a Japanese macaque or no I only saw proboscis monkeys so maybe it's not a two species habitat but the other one were for the proboscis monkeys and this one is for Japanese macaques okay that makes a bit more sense and I'm going to unbox you just to be nice to you. <laughs> so, but this is also looking nice with all of the snow and these little hanging stuffs, ropes, 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 what I meant. And then that's not for us. That's also cute. And then we are coming up here and then we go here and here we have otters and uh wait what are you are you the okay you've been been to wrongs and the small clawed otters that's also looking nice with all the little vines and stuff and the little dead trees that's cool and now i need to go back but i wanted to go up there and see the other point of view for the others hmm. 
I hope I will get there again, because if not, I will fly over here again. <laughs> okay, here we have Ziamangs or... No, Gibbons. This is a Gibbon and maybe this is... Chimpanzee? No, it's also a Ziamang. Okay, so this is a Ziamang island. I wanna go there. Let me go there. <laughs> Okay, um, and here I can go inside. I can go inside. Okay, and I guess this is, yeah, this is the inside for the ZM monks. I also like the structure here, like that you have a few um, roots that support the planks. That's cool. No, don't look. Don't walk into the plants. <laughs> Do I need to go out here? Yes. And then we can go here to another exhibit for, for. Um. Yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I'm sorry. Um, it's some some kind of little rodent with a long tail. <laughs> I don't know. And here we have... Oh, oh, I know these. These are um, some kind of monkeys. I don't... I just don't know the name. But I know them. I know them. I saw them in real life. <laughs> so... Here... Is this the... Okay, the Asian water monitor. I also love the fencing. Really realistic. <laughs> and then we should go here. And we have like... These are um, some kind of... Let me think about the word in English. Oh, how... Like some kind of... Oh, what's the name? Come on. Um... Vultures. I bet these are vultures. Yes, these are vultures. And then... Um... I'm gonna go here. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going right, but this is also for the Asian water monitor. So... The shading is also a good idea, like using the shading things. I don't know what they're called. Let's just take a quick look. The sheet sun shades. African sheet sun shades. African sheet sun shades. So many S's. Okay, now I think I need to go over here. Oh, whoa, that's close. That's cool. <laughs> like it's close, but it's cool. <laughs> okay, and now tiger? Is this tiger? No, 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 no. No. It can't. Isn't that for the? Oh, that's for these guys. That's cool. I love them in real life. I don't know what they are called in English. Are they shoe bills or something? Could be that. I don't know, but I really love them in real life. And this is a bit misleading. I thought I would be seeing tigers here. <laughs> I was like, yay, tigers! And then I only have the shoe wheels if they are called that. Am I allowed to go here? I don't know. I'm just going. Like, I think now this is. Uh -huh, this is the other and Bintom habitat from the other side. I love the climbing structure. I think I said this like a few minutes before when we are when we were on this side, but anyway, <laughs> I think we need to go again to here. Yes. So we have another exhibit for birds. I think this time that's supposed to be an eagle of some sort. Yes, Stellus sea eagle. Were there always 
little checks for the birds and I didn't see them, that would be bad now. That would be bad. I hope not. Like, I hope for like the sake of the continuity that they were always there, but like for me and not seeing them, I hope they weren't there. <laughs> okay, so Rhino and Red Crown Crane. Like, can you guys tell me the difference between the white rhino and the black rhino? I know in, in German it's it has to do with the mouse if it's white or if it's like um not white but pointed and so it's called like pointy mouth rhino or white mouth night rhino and that makes much more sense than white and black and yeah i just don't know the difference which one is which in english so that's apparently a white rhino so yeah um let's just walk here i want to see them again from somewhere where i stand higher like i think for these bigger animals that's one of the best spots to see them just to see all of the habitat at once and then you can see the animals within that and the really close-up shots <laughs> where you can see how massive they are in real life because like i said the distance is kind of screwing with your perspective on how big they actually are even if there are if there is a, a sign saying how much they weigh and stuff it's not really giving you the perspective on how big they actually are. So here is the other savanna habitat for hoofstock and zebras. <laughs> I think this is... Okay, let me try. This is the Alex. Okay. Give it to heart, Oryx. No, Gap's book. Okay, and this... Is this again? No, no that's not an Oryx. Is this... I don't know. The Dahmer Gazelle. Like, see what I mean? I don't know all of these hoof stocks. <laughs> and not even this would have helped me, like... Okay, that's the Alax. But this... Nangadama. No clue. <laughs> okay, now I know it's a Dama Gisela, but like, before I would have said like, okay, I don't know. I don't know, don't ask me. <laughs> So we are going here, and this is a duck, <laughs> and swans, and lemurs, many lemurs, that's nice, that's cool, but like honestly I'm a bit, ooh, and koi fish or something like that, but I'm a bit afraid that the swans are not that nice or are these not swans but like some goose or something because swans can be really aggressive and if they are aggressive towards the lemurs i'm fearing for the life of the lemurs to be honest so um don't know if i would have put them anywhere where people not people where animals are and this zoo was made then if these are swans this was made before the eurasia animal pack or am I wrong? Because like, if it would be after that, you could have just put them in here. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe it's not something that would have been able, you would have been able to do since, I don't know, maybe the door for the keepers is not really accessible for the swans then. Maybe something like that. But I'll Okay, now we are going... Is this a sh No, that's a res restaurant. Of course that's a restaurant. They are all... All around me are tables with teeth and I'm like, is this a gift shop? What am I thinking sometimes? What am I thinking? <laughs> but we have a nice view. Honestly, I would sit exactly here. This would be my place. And then I will look at the lemurs all the time. <laughs> Probably would need something. <laughs> so, but I like the design. Like I, I like like these new modern styles. Although I don't think that I'm that good at building these. 
but I like them. So now we are here. Um, is this the first savannah? No, no. Wait a minute. Is this actually one habitat and only the giraffes can go to the other side? Is this... No. Am I warm? Like, okay, this is obviously not divided since they can go here. But can they go... Okay, no, I was wrong. Um, let's get back on the path. So this is only the big savanna, but it's not the savanna with the giraffes in it. Got it. <sighs> I just I had to check here. <laughs> that was important for me. <laughs> and now we are at the flamingos, and that means we are like at the beginning again, are we? Yes. Okay, we have here the flamingos. It's looking really nice from the outside. I think I like the outside area more than the inside, but probably I'm biased because the inside area doesn't have water. <laughs> um, okay, and now we should go... I bet this is a gift shop. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> okay, here we have the gift shop. Um, I would say this is all from the workshop, like it's not one of the shops that we can build now so yeah that's that but it's so it's looking nice and like i said i like the modern building ar architecture so that's also quite nice and then we are guided to the entrance or exit again and yeah that's it that's the video I hope you liked this tour and I hope you liked this video. If you want me to check out your zoo and like gush over things that I like in your zoo, you can of course send me your zoo link in the... This, uh, <laughs> you can send me the zoo link uh, to the email in the description, that what I, that's what I was going to say, so <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and we will see each other in the next one. Bye!